Hello mga bata! My name is Ma'am Lara. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa concept of ratio. Pero bago natin alamin ang tungkol sa ratio, balik-aralan natin ang fractions. Fraction from a Latin word fractus which means broken, which represents a part of a whole or more generally any number of equal parts. The two main parts of a fraction are numerator and denominator. Ratio is a way of comparing or showing relative sizes of two or more quantities having the same units. Sa madaling salita, kinukumpara natin ang dalawa o higit pang mga bagay. Pwede natin i-express ang ratio in three different ways. Word form, colon form, and fraction form. Example, there are three triangles and five squares. Express the numbers of triangles to squares and vice versa. So, i-drawing muna natin ang mga figures. Then, express natin into three ways. So, let us compare the number of triangles to squares. Word form. Colon form. Fraction form. How about number of squares to triangles? Word form. Colon form. Fraction form. Another example. In Miss Rojas' grade 6 math class, there are 18 boys and 20 girls. Compare the number of girls to the number of boys. Word form. The ratio is not yet in its lowest terms. Tama ang inyong narinig. We can simplify our ratio. We can express it as 10 girls is to 9 boys. Colon form. Fraction form. Pag-usapan naman natin ang tungkol sa rate. Rate is a comparison of two quantities but may have different in units of measures and the ratio has a unit of measure. Example, Joshua scored 168 points in 7 basketball games. Expressed in lowest terms, the average rate of the number of points that Joshua scored in every game. Our ratio is 168 points is to 7 games. Let's simplify. 24 points is to 1 game or 24 points per game. Joshua scored 24 points per game. Joanna can type 288 words in 8 minutes. How many words can she type per minute? Our ratio is 288 words is to 8 minutes. Let's simplify. Joanna can type 36 words per minute. Let's practice. Write a ratio for each of the following in three ways. Express each rate in lowest terms. The ratio of 32 apples to 4 children. 8 apples per child. The ratio of 50 patients to 5 nurses. 10 patients per nurse. The ratio of 1,716 pesos to 12 hours. 143 pesos per hour. The ratio of 525 pupils to 25 classrooms. 
21 pupils per classroom. The ratio of 630 pesos to 15 liters of gasoline. 42 pesos per liter of gasoline. The ratio of 200 persons to 20 tables. 10 persons per table. The ratio of 315 pesos to 5 meters of cloth. 63 pesos per meters of cloth. The ratio of 288 meters to 12 seconds. 24 meters per second. The ratio of 10,500 pesos to 12 families. 875 pesos per family. The ratio of 216 pupils to 8 buses. 27 pupils per bus. Write three ratios equivalent to the given ratio. The first one is 5 is to 8. 5 is to 8 is equal to 10 is to 16. Paano nangyari? 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10. 8 multiplied by 2 is equal to 16. Or, kapag ni lowest term natin ang 10 over 16, magkakaroon tayo ng 5 over 8 or 5 is to 8. 5 is to 8 is also equal to 15 over 24 or 15 is to 24. 15 is to 24 is also equal to 20 is to 32. Next, 2 eighths. 2 eighths or 2 is to 8 is equal to 1 fourth or 1 is to 4. 1 is to 4 is also equal to 3 is to 12. 3 is to 12, 1 is to 4, and 2 is to 8 is also equal to 4 is to 16. Shout out to Sir BDC, Sir Harold, Sir Mark Kevin, Sir Nick, Mom Grace, Mom Kay Ann, Mom Seya, Mom Casey, Mom Jana. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and God bless. Bye bye.